Sacred Insights 101, ready to do your reading for August. The very first card that you got is from the Holy Spirit, talking about expecting miracles. Expect miracles. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally, and that Spirit has your back. This is really profound in your reading in terms of remembering that only love is real, talking about what's real, and also especially that spirit has your back and miracles will occur naturally. It's very important that this is the first card. So remember that. Otherwise, your reading really feels like there's some kind of legal situation for some of you, maybe dealing with some very difficult people, and the reading really does a great job of speaking to uh, potentially why it might be happening if this resonates with you, and what you can do about it. So they do a really good job with this. So the next card that wanted to speak up is from Mother Earth, talking about synergy, talking about things are out of balance. Things are out of balance. When things are in balance, everyone sort of gets along and everything's going well and people work together and it feels like that's not what's happening for you guys. And you are looking at your freedom from this situation is what it feels like to me for some of you are looking at you know how to get out of this situation gracefully and have it go well and so she wants to come back to say you have a right to your freedom from anything that's out of balance and to expect the miracles will significantly allow them to happen. Does that make sense? It goes along that idea of, is of if you believe you can, then you can. And if you believe you can't, then you can't. Is fundamental to this situation that some of you might be going through. So expect the miracles so that there's a much better chance that they can happen naturally. Expect it, just allow it, they can happen naturally. It looks like the situation will end in a fair way, and this is the card, um, it says it will be handled in a fair and just manner. And this is the card that kind of indicates there's a legal situation for some of you. There may be a legal situation um, you have spirit has your back, right? She wants to come back. She's like, spirit has your back. Love is what's real. Love is, well, will sort of win if anybody wins in these things. Uh, love will be where you want to sort of keep your focus through this situation. Okay? It, it will end uh, fairly. Um, the next card that wants to go is King Solomon. He's asking you to prioritize yourself. Prioritize your higher self. So notice how he's reaching, you know, he's reaching up, um, <clears throat> prioritizing higher self, your loving self, in terms of what's real and helping to allow miracles to happen. Miracles in a loving way in a loving sort of way. So prioritizing your higher self. Also, you want to prioritize your higher self and, and have an extra keen awareness of your higher self because Uriel will be helping you through this situation with increased claircognizance, which is knowingness. It's like that inner knowing. So she will be dropping, she, he, Uriel, will be dropping information, claircognizance, to help you know what to do next, what to say, what not to say, when to do things, right? If you're in a legal situation, 
you know, it's nice to have some help. So Uriel will be giving you ideas. So definitely prioritize your awareness of your cognizance, your mental, your mind, because she's going to be helping you. He, she. All right. They're asking, also asking you to be brave. You're going to have to be brave. If, if this resonates with you, you can do it though. You can do it. Be brave, Scorpio. Be brave through the situation. It feels like somebody's not, it feels like what's coming, it's like, it's, it's not a very easy situation. So, be brave. You can do it. You will be taken care of. It feels like, when this card comes up sometimes, especially in this reading though, in the context of this one, is um, indicating that some of you may be feeling or may feel um, that uh, oh my gosh, you know, I'm sort of, you know, you could be, could be losing everything, you could be in transition, the stress could just be so much that you can't work kind of thing, and so it feels like a lot of you um, are worried that, you know, like, what's going to happen, how am I going to, you know, sort of financially take care of myself, how can I do this through this situation, and spirit has your back. So again, she wants to come back, you know, she was first to say, Spirit has your back, trust, trust it. You will be taken care of, you will. And when it gets down to, you know, it's, it's amazing how, how, it's magical how things show up when you, when you think they're just, it can't happen. It can. Miracles will be happening throughout is what they're saying. Throughout this entire situation, from beginning to end, wherever, whatever stage you might be in with it, to the end, little miracles will be happening along the way. Some of them including Uriel's clear cognizance and wisdom coming to you right when you need it to handle the situation. Okay, so be open to this. Prioritize that so you can hear it, so you know what to do. It looks like these kinds of situations sometimes are, you know, they're, they are um, sort of not on purpose, but they happen in this lifetime. It's kind of common in a way um, for, for these situations to occur um, because there's so much to be learned from being brave. Sometimes we, we learn just how brave we are when we're taken to the limit of that. Does that make sense? You know, sometimes you, you, you've got to be, it's like a test, you know, and then you're, you're gonna, you're gonna succeed in the end. It's gonna end and it's gonna be okay um, at some point, but you know, be brave. Because you're going to need to be brave through this. It is a learning experience. So look at it as a learning experience. You know, if you can get your perspective on it um, a certain way that, you know, you've got your DNA and karma. And this is something coming around from past lifetimes of patriarch, a control, abusive, controlling patriarch over you know, not divine masculine power hungry over, um, you know, the, 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 the predator victim thing, right? Karma is coming around and it's coming around for lots of people to be healed right now. It is a learning experience. You will learn so much. You're going to learn how brave you really are. You're going to learn just how brave you are. You're going to increase your spiritual skills of claircognizance. You're going to increase your awareness so that you can hear this, so that it can end fairly, so that miracles can happen, right? This is how you want to look at this situation. A lot of emotions are going to be stirring around. So we have lightning striking water which is emotions, and the very next card is emotions. 
Yes, emotions. Ooh. So you're going again to learn a lot about all the different emotions in your body. So, you know, get curious. Like, all right, wow, I am so stressed out right now. Where is this in my body? You know, um, how can I manage this emotion now? Now I'm sad. Now I'm angry. Now I'm frustrated, right? And it, you will be, you know, look at it as an opportunity to really get curious about that kind of stuff. And that will keep you out of the stress of it that is just so not healthy. Um, these can be very stressful. So, you know, focus on your higher, your priorities are focusing on you, your inner self, your clear cognizance, how brave you are, you know, celebrate every tiny little victory with it. Notice the emotions that you're having, name them, um, see if you can uh, learn how to work with them, work with these emotions. What do you do when you're angry? that's healthy for you, right? What do you do when you're frustrated that's healthy for you? Those types of things. Saint Dymphna is with you. She is a very powerful saint who was famous for helping people with emotions. Um, but she also just as much helped people with mental challenges, mental and emotional challenges. So it could be you or the other, having mental challenges, emotional challenges, you know, if the other is um, controlling, um, not very nice, if the other is not very nice, um, ask her to help you with the emotional responses, with the mental and emotional responses to uh, each situation as it occurs, right? And then listen at the same time, listen how to respond to things as they occur, emotions going on. So ask Saint Dymphna because she's with you. She will be with you and stay with you through this. And she wants to come back. Spirit has your back. So she wants to come back with her to say, yes, we're with you. Love is what's real. And so she can help you. She can help you with the mental and emotional challenges that may be coming up with this. Legal stuff can be very mental. Legal um, people in general, you know, by, by profession are gifted at manipulating words and you know getting your mind all twisted up they're good at that that's what they do <laughs> for a living so um, your mental and emotional responses to that just just keep a high awareness of yourself stay calm stay curious and ask for her help in processing and understanding okay now forgiveness comes up in here next, which could be very challenging in the midst of this. So what the, what this card is saying in this position, in this reading, is that it's very, very important to forgive yourself for being in this situation really important to forgive yourself like right now if this reading resonates with you forgive yourself right now that you're even in this situation it is divinely guided it's divinely guided for you to be in this situation on top of that our thinking and our belief systems and our emotional systems our frequency our vibration from the past is what brings about our current situations so you did the best you could back when you were you know who you were that brought this situation in so you can forgive yourself you are not it's not your fault there's no fault it just is what it is and now you get to learn how brave you are how intuitive you are right how to handle your emotions get curious forgive yourself for being in this almost every one of us is gonna get, many many of us get to go through this 
let go of any stress, okay? And this card's coming up right underneath this one. Let go of any stress. Don't take on other people's stress. Breathe it out right now. So if you are in a legal situation and they are messing with your, you know, thought processes on purpose, recognize it, stay the observer to it, recognize it and just breathe it right back out to them as quick as you can because stress is really harmful to you harmful to you so um, breathe it out just let go of any stress that's not yours there's an airplane um, okay that's very loud <laughs> okay let it go let it go let that airplane go okay um, we also have Unog is talking about easy does it easy does it it's it's um there's no need to hurry or force things to happen everything is occurring in perfect timing so you won't be able to force things to happen it does feel like this again you know this is a divinely guided kind of situation for your spiritual mental emotional growth if you look at it like that it can really help you if you look at it like that really really help um, you yeah you it's very hard to rush things in this kind of situation and actually if you're wanting to rush it um, and this is the situation you're in uh, the other side what spirit is saying is that the the because it's sort of a combative situation the if the other side recognizes that you want to hurry up they will not hurry up on purpose does that make sense so the best thing you can do with this is to just take it easy like okay all right it's gonna go how it's gonna go and you just stay curious and you do everything you can and you listen when you get advice and miracles will happen here and there little miracles will happen you'll be all right just relax just kind of let it just no stress as little stress as you can stay optimistic now optimistic's coming up right underneath this one right but expect miracles stay optimistic they will happen especially if you can help believing that they can happen they can if you believe they can they can if stress is getting too much just hand it over to the angels just please take this I just cannot take this right now please take this angels for me and they will they will if it gets to be too much uh, it's gonna be really important to stay grounded stay grounded get your feet on the ground roots into Mother Earth. Yep, really important to stay grounded as much as you can. They're also talking about vegetarian, being mindful of what you eat. You are what you eat. And these kinds of situations can be extremely stressful and that stress is really not healthy for your body. So we have like what you eat and drinking lots of water for your body to manage the stress levels. That might be coming from all of this so yeah it's gonna be really important to you know take your vitamins exercise you know right? meditate go into meditation so that you can hear extra some of these so that you can connect with your higher self right with spirit and be mindful of what you eat and drinking water now this card has come out came out in another reading too and um, I loved what spirit said with that and they're saying yes share it again <laughs> um, so have a glass a particular glass that you use that to drink your water out of and on that glass tape some words on there maybe like love um, fairness uh, courage right 
tape some really powerful words for yourself on that glass of water and the frequency of those words will affect the frequency in the water so when you drink it it will be so healing and help your body every time you drink it to readjust to the frequency of those words which is crystalline and pure so you want words like love and gratitude and peace and you know freedom um, those kind of words on your glass of water that will help a lot um, if at some point you don't you just don't know what to do you, you can just go to sleep <laughs> I don't know how many times I use this one I love this card sometimes if you just don't know what to do just take a nap because sometimes some of this is easier to get through to you if you're complete, if you're stressed when you're really stressed sometimes this is very hard to hear so um, in sleep time you can get downloads so that in the morning you may wake up knowing what to do wake up with the ideas knowing what to do so take a nap is what they're saying if the stress gets too much and it might sometimes if it gets too much sometimes don't hesitate to just set the alarm maybe for an hour hour or two hours and just take a nap or go to bed early and then Uriel will take advantage of that timing to give you some downloads. Yeah. Um, best friends. Best friends stick together no matter what. It does feel like sometimes in these situations, you know, you get to know who your friends are. You really do. You get to know who your friends are. Your best friends are going to stick with you. You're going to know who they are. Another thing that you'll get to learn, right, is who your friends really are. That's a valuable thing to know, right? And also then, as you go, you'll be balancing all of this with your career and your home life and what, you know, this may be regarding a relationship, um, um, divorce kind of thing. This may be leaving a corporate work situation, you know, whatever this is. So you'll be balancing, it looks like, for some of you, your home life with your um, career. Um, and it feels like she's got your back again she wants to come back and say you know what oh, spirits with you spirit has your back in terms of balancing this when he wants to come back balance really important so you're gonna want to balance your home life with your career and then they got some ideas for you um, as you you know this will get increased by this situation you're going to know your emotions and how to manage them. You're going to know how to manage stress. You're going to learn. You're going to learn, right? All these ways and how they help the body and the stress and the situation kind of thing. And so your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. So potentially down the road, and we're getting autumn, for a resolve for this uh, so it looks like autumn things this situation could be resolved sometime in the fall coming up um, it looks like that you've got an audience so even if you don't teach spirituality um, but her third eye is lit up right she's spiritual but she has an audience so you may become some kind of a teacher uh, to balance your home life you may become a spiritual teacher or just uh, some other kind of teacher um, but abundance comes from this these three come together they want to come together the balancing your life becoming a teacher a spiritual teacher pot potentially a leader of some kind where you have an audience maybe doing events or talks or something and then we have abundance coming from that in the fall in the fall and also this one wants to come up right there <laughs> you're going to know who your friends are and your best friends are going to stick with you to the very end they're going to stick with you as you go into this next stage of your life once all of this gets resolved and you've got some balance back into your life your best friends will be there and you'll know who they are and then abundance and then abundance of all kinds prosperity but also you're just gonna learn so much from this uh, not just about yourself um, but uh, about every aspect of this it is a great 
not great in a fun way, <laughs> but it is a very big learning experience that, um, that you guys, some of you may be going through. Be brave, okay? Be brave and remember most of all that only love is really what's real and spirit has your back. You can do this. You can do this. You can get through this if this resonates with you. I'm with you. I'm sending you so much love and courage and, and intuition and healthy body and de-stress. I'll be sending that to all of you Scorpios the entire month of August. That's my promise to you. Yep. Every day. Okay? So, I love you guys. Until next time, take really good care of yourselves, and we'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.